All right, so um, this video we're going to talk about how to choose the eye count, how to get a target eye count for your net. Because um, remember the bottom row of whoa, bottom row of your net gonna have so many eyes, right? How do we determine how much eyes we need to shoot for? Now, we got to play math a little bit. Well, a lot of bit actually swing on net. So, you're going to hear people talk about 20 eyes start. That means their pico, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way to 20. Right? Because they're sewing 20 eyes. Then you hear 60 eyes start. Which means pico. Why do I have this brush on here? What the fuck? Pico. And you know, 60 eyes. Just starting with 60. Um, now, if we just kept sewing, 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 we're going to keep doing 60, 60, 60, so on and so forth. But we do Pumana rolls, right? Now, every time you do a Pumana roll, well, it depends how you how you do your first Pumana roll. Um, you either adding half of your starting, or you adding the complete total number, the, that sixty starting. So you either eating either half or the, the whole. <clears throat> How do we choose that and why do we choose that? Um, your basics is the easiest and most basic way. Well, technically not, because if you're doing one, if you're doing a long net, you probably want to go with just the the adding halves. But that means you're gonna do more Pumana rolls. So. Um, 20 eyes start, right? If we Pumana, our first Pumana roll is every other. Right? This is a, every other is a Pumana. See how we have uh, this is a a Pumana eye technique. This would have been right. This would have been a regular, but we split it here, and then right here we have a regular. So this is a every other. This would give you plus ten on every Pumana roll. Be adding ten more eyes to your total. Yeah, now if your first Pumana roll is every I well I don't know how you technically you would say every other or what because it depends where you're counting if you're counting where this is hanging on it's gonna be every other knot there's gonna be a knot here not here not here not here right every other but I consider it these diamonds, right? This would have been a single eye, a diamond, but we've split it, right? Like I said, we've split it into two. So I consider that every eye. Um, See how there would be no, there would be no regular one here. It's a every eye. This would yield you plus 20. Because every, every eye 
Remember, this would have been a regular eye. Well, above it is a regular eye, right? Um, for every eye, he added one more. Because this, this would have been the... This half would have been the one, but we split it. So now we have an extra, we have an extra, we have an extra, we have an extra. So you're adding one for one, which means you plus 20. Okay, that's that's kind of the ideal way. Um, well, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't like saying the whole ideal way and whatnot because like I said, everybody sews differently. Everybody's going to do things differently. Because you can add in as you go more down the line. And I'll talk about that in a little bit if I remember to. But so say our first Pumana row doubles this number because we plus 20. Well, our first Pumana row is now going to be 40 eyes. Then we drop down to the next Pumana row. We're doing plus 20 again. You can always plus this unless you change it down the road but we'll keep to the basics so that it's easier for the beginner to understand once you get all the hang of this you can move on to the little bit more advanced stuff so plus 20 on our next pumana 60 and so forth we will plus 20 every pumana row okay so on so 20 40 60 80 200 Miko. <clears throat> now, and this number would keep going on, right? You get to 300, you get to 400, you're going 20, 40, 60, 80. Right? So on, so on. Um, how do we know where to stop? Or how do we know what target number we want to hit? Do we want to sew our... our Bottom row gonna be 400 eyes. Is it gonna be 300 eyes? Is it gonna be 200 eyes? Yeah, well, the basics, the best way for you to start is to figure out what weight you want your net. And we're gonna stick to all the basics um, two for two pattern on the lead. Because it's the easiest route for somebody that's beginner. Uh, say, I'm making a 10 foot net. And I want it to be. Well, I want to say I want it lighter. I want it 8 pound, which is actually really light. So that technically probably wouldn't happen. So let's be realistic. Let's just say 10, because that's kind of like unhappy medium. Some people go a little heavier, 12, maybe even 14. Who knows? But. We'll keep it basic. So like I said, we're doing for beginners. Maybe this be your first net you're ever sewing. And you want to do something basic. It's going to work. You know what I mean? It's, it, the size, the weight, everything going to work. You just got to adjust to learning how to use it. But if you're used to throwing lighter, if you're used to throwing heavier, so, so on and so forth. Now, you got to know what the weight of the lead you're using because each piece of lead, whether you're using a tube or you're using canoe, each piece weighs a certain amount. And usually your lead maker is going to tell you how many pieces per pound. Okay. Um, say... Like Eli, he uh, tells you his lead is eight pieces per pound. Per pound. Um, so if I try to hit this target weight, 10 pounds, and eight pieces make a pound, I need 80 pieces, right? Plus eight. Oh. 
Sorry, it's passing on the TV. Um, eight of them times ten, right? Because eight per pound. So now I don't need eighty pieces. So we going. Uh, we know we're working with eighty pieces of lead. Lead. Um, 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 um. Okay. Now, if we're doing a two-two pattern, lead, lead, two-two pattern is two on lead, two between lead, two on lead, two between. Right? <coughs> we talk about this in the skirt video. Okay, that's a two-two pattern. One, two, one, two, one, two. Those are your eyes, right? Okay. Now we established that. So what does it mean? With 80 pieces of lead, we're gonna have two of them to each, two eyes to each lead. That means we gotta we're gonna double this number. Because two eyes per lead. 80 pieces of lead. So eight, 80 times two eyes so 160 eyes okay so that means all the lead in total is gonna have one two three four and as we go all the way around we're gonna end up at 159 and 160 right we all order on the net now what do we have in between we have two more eyes right and same thing one two as we go all the way around, we end up at 159, 160. So what are we going to do? We've got to add these two numbers, 160 and 160. So 160 plus 160 is 320. Okay, so now we know our eye count, our target eye count, 320. So 320 bottom row, AKA eye count, right? Target eye count for your last row. How am I gonna reach that 320? Well, with a 20 eye starting, Start. Why is this thing like this? We're gonna go um with a with a plus twenty, because our first pumana row gonna be one for one. So we can go forty plus twenty sixty. What is with this fucking? Sixty, eighty, hundred, one twenty, one forty, one sixty, one eighty, two hundred. We're gonna keep going. But you see how much Pumana rows you're gonna end up doing. This much Pumana rows. This one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen Pumana rows. Nah, it's pretty harsh, right? Like maybe you don't want this on a ten foot net. Uh, you're gonna be pushing it because you gotta remember.
You want all your pumanas done somewhere in like the top two thirds. I mean, I guess you could pumana fuck all the way at the bottom, but the standard is pretty much like two thirds, I'd say. So if we split this net into two thirds, right? You want all your pumanas, pumana rows done by the time you get to this point. And all this can be regular eye already. Um, I don't, I don't know if that's there's an actual rule behind that. Um, but every net I ever see worked on, etc. That's pretty standard. I'd say like the top two thirds. So, how do we, instead of doing this much Pumana rows, how do we count this at? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 15 Pumana rows. What if I don't want to do that much Pumana rows? Okay, so we'll talk about that. But I mean, either way, look, you can still hit this 320, right? And that's the number we're looking for. But, Let's talk about how to get there faster. Okay, so that would be your super basic. Let's do this so we remember what we're targeting. 10 foot, 10 pound, 320, I count. Bottom row. No, Whatever, me doing a two inch eye. That's not relevant right now. We're just figuring out numbers for the amount of eyes, right? Okay. So how, how do I skip um, and do more? eyes instead of doing 15 of those pumana rows okay this is we sewing right we pumana whatever pumana here you know blah 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 and then Regular eyes, and then Pumano again somewhere. Well, at at some point, you're doing this. You're skipping. Are you, what are you, are you playing with the toys outside or the iPad? Make a choice. The iPad doesn't go outside. Sorry, my kid. Okay, so say you at where are you skipping for? Cause remember, oh uh, shit, did I talk about it? Every time you come down one row, say you went every eye pumana, your next row is gonna go skip one, right? And then skip two. That's how it goes. Because remember, your Pumanas is adding in eyes. And this is the eyes you're adding in. Right? We never have one here. We did every eye. But because we added one Pumana, right here is the eye that we added in. And then the next one, we're adding in another one. So now we get two more. Right? And so on and so forth. It's going to keep repeating itself. You can go one, two, three, one, two, three, four, right? Pumana, 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 one, two, three, Pumana, one, two, three, Pumana, one, two, three, four. Next one, we'll go Pumana, one, two, three, four, five. Okay? This is going to repeat itself all the way down. But let's talk about a little bit more advanced technique. 
Pumano. I go one, two, Pumano. This, I cannot do extras. I cannot go backwards on this one yet, right? Because this is one I, this is one I. But when we get to the odd number, okay? One, two, three. One, two, three. When we get to that odd number, you can either start them way up here from when you're doing them. I call it skips. Okay, so you get whatever terminology you're using. I call it a skip three because I'm going one, two, three. I skipped three eyes before I did a pumana again. So skip three. But instead of skipping three, pay attention. Yeah, you know, well, let me change, take this out. Instead of doing skip three, I can go backwards. I'm backwards to and skip one. See how I am work? But now, what did I do now? I added in because technically, if this was a skip three, I would have one, two. One, two, three, right? Before I did all this. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's seven eyes I would have created. But. Now that I will go. Whoops. Now that I went backwards, I went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I added in one more eye. Then <laughs> you're gonna repeat this all the way around. So, this. <laughs> Instead of, um, okay, how do I, sorry, I'm trying to figure out the numbers, right? Because we 20, 40, 60. This is our first, second. This would be a, every I, skip one, skip two. Right here is a skip three. But. We would go backwards right to the skip one. So on a 20 eye, every other eye is 20 Pumanas, 20 Pumanas, 20 Pumanas, 20 Pumanas. It can go in between those Pumanas, which would give us that would be doubling right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh shit that's 20 pumanas Doing one more in between those. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Right. Okay, 20. Just wanted to be sure that I had to dry out. <laughs> I'm not the greatest at math, okay? I can kind of visualize some... I can number some things, some things I got to visualize. So now, instead of... Here, we're back... Here, right here. Instead of only had adding in 20, because we would have added 20 off of each, right? Each of our intended Pumana. Would have been 20. We didn't add another one. So we added 40. 
So now instead of 80 plus 20 and be 100, it would have been 80 plus 40 and we'll be at 120. So it would have went 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. And because now we're going to follow this all the way down again, right? This Pumano is going to get copied all the way. You got to remember, sit, think of this as your pico. We're looking at the top view down, uh, pancaked. All your original Pumanos. This, say this is your first row of Pumanos. Yeah, it's your first row of Pumanos. All the way down your net. This going to follow in line. All your Pumanos is going to follow in line. You're going to be able to see it. But now, we got another one. Right? The ones we add in. It doesn't mean you have to add them in all the way up here at the, the one, two, three, the fourth Pumano row. You could have went down to um, the skip five. Right? Because it, it has to be an odd. It has to be an odd number of. What the fuck is going on here? So, what the hell? One, two, three. Either go and skip three if you want to start it early. Or you got to go down to uh, one, two, to skip five. Right? Because you got to have the one, two, three, four, five. You got to keep it even. Um, you know what I mean? So it's your, the add-in Pumano going to be here. We get one, two, one, two, and then Pumana again. Oh, shit. Okay. Because what would happen if we tried it on a, on a even? One, two. Or let's say, yeah, two. We cannot. Because say if I try to add a, go here, add a Puma, he, he, he's, it's not the right, it's not going to end up right. Why? Because now, we only get this one regular, right? The Pumana. Pumana. Skip one. But then Pumana. Pumana. And it would, with that pattern, you'd end up skip one. Pumana. It, it's not even. You cannot do that, okay? So it's got to be. You add in Pumano, you got to have the even amount on both sides before you Pumano again. Okay? I know it seems confusing to probably a lot of people, but just trust me. <laughs> numbers, numbers. We play numbers, okay? You got to um, keep things evenly. So... With that being said, we had 20, 40, 60, 80, oh, shit. 60, 80, 140, right? We didn't add in some, we might we go backwards again. When we get to that, right, we went skip one again. We get down to where we're going to be doing, eventually we keep going down the line. We won't get to one spot. We won't get to a number where it's gonna go three again between our Pumanas. Now, technically, this Pumana was that add-in right here at the at the one, two, three at the fourth 
at the fourth row, Pumanas. That's the one we add in again. Right? This one. Let's do a different color. This was your original set, Pumanas. Part of your original set. One, two, three. Um, like how I showed it earlier, right? Um, let's go backwards. Well, anyway, let's continue what I was saying. Um, this Pumon is going to continue on. These Pumon is going to continue on. Now, but we get to that point. We could add in. Uh, I could have added in right here again. Right? So now what? We get three sets of Puma. Not, I mean, they're all together. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying, you keep you adding in. You're playing your numbers differently. You're multiplying differently. So we're at 140. And then at some point, that would be... Oh, shit. Okay, let's draw this out so we can understand. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. Um, and then we did the add ins. Whoops. And then as we moved down, we did another add in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty. Yeah, so as I suspected, we doubled the number again. So that's plus forty now. Because this, the red, was a plus 20 Pumana. Our green was, right, plus 20 again. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. Plus 20 again because we would split. But now we're splitting the split, which can be a plus 40. So, that means would have been 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, right? 1 plus 40. What we adding, okay, sorry, let's go backwards a bit. This, we had plus 20, this green. We went plus 20 from the plus 20. So the technical, technically, if we're playing overall numbers, our green layer is, whoa, why is it so? Plus 40. Our purple row and add 20 more to that, right? Plus 60. Body. 60. Yeah. Okay. Because we went plus 20, plus 20. So it's technically plus 40. So one, 120. And then what? We're adding 40 every time. So 160. 200. I'm not sure where the next one we would get, what number we would hit until we can split again. It would probably be somewhere like here. So now we're going plus 60, right? This was our, our red Pumanas. And then we went into the green Pumanas. 
assume it's three like that okay let's let yeah i think it's gonna always it's always gonna play on the same amount of rows so uh one two three one two three that means this one would have been would be two plus sixty right so two sixty and then plus sixty again would bring us to three twenty this would be our purple pumanas okay there we go we figured it out um sorry i wanted to break that all down i had it all like in my head i understood what it would what it would do i just wanted to show it um so let's com compare that to what we would have been doing was 20 40 we'd only been going by 20s right 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40. Oh, wait, only 20. All right, so that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I thought it was 15. 14. 14 Pumana rows if we went stick with that. Versus this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 Pumana rows. <laughs> so, there you go. That, this would be the ideal route for take. If you're hitting, if your target is that. On like a shorter net. So say our 10 foot net is an 8 foot net. Because remember, going backward, going back what we are talking about. two-thirds right this is where we let all our pumanas done and you're gonna hit this eight foot pretty damn quickly um, okay so now you know how to get to it again we'll do I'll try to do a quick rundown right say so we're doing eight foot net I want it to be 10 pounds. Say I get lead that's 10 pieces per pound. Now, this is just doing the simple, man. This is like, oh, my God, everything's perfectly lining up. Everything easy. That means it's 100 pieces of lead. Pieces lead. Okay. Now, I'm going to do two for two. 100 pieces lead with a two for two, right? We're reviewing, guys. We're reviewing. If you're thinking ahead of me, then you know. You're good. You're understanding. But we're running through it again anyway. Okay? So that's 200 eyes on lead. 200 between lead. Right? So what is that? Plus 400 eyes. 400 eye count. Now, we know that we're doing a 400 eye count. Oh, say we're going to do a 20 start. Okay, I'm going to do 20 start. Uh, I'm going to do... The typical, so 40, 60, but we just went calculate 80. Then, okay, I'm going to bump that to the one plus 20 more. So 120 and then so on and so forth, right? Uh, plus 40, so what did I say? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, uh, plus 60 now. So 260, 320, 320, uh, 380. Oh, over. Oh, shit, see? But. Let's. Okay, okay. No, we can keep that correct. It's a good thing you did this. Because you know what? 
It just threw me for a loop, but how do we figure it out? Okay, so remember how we went one, oh, open. Remember how we did the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we did all this. This was our plus 40. And then we could have kept running this from there. Right? So we would have actually, to play that numbers correct, we would have went 20, 40, 60, 60. Why well, I always run a right at 8? 60, 80, 120. Plus 40, 160, plus 40, 200, 240, 280, uh, plus 4, 3, 20, 360, and then 400. Bingo. Okay, so we couldn't have had, did another splitter. Um... Pumana, Pumana, Pumana. We didn't double up Pumana, so we ended up here. Now we just couldn't, instead of doubling up again, you know what I mean? If we went do another, oh, let's do a different color. We did another splitter, we'd end up wrong. So, gotta calculate correctly. See? And this is a good way. If you could, you swing in that and you gotta hit on target, you might write, write all this down, like how we're doing them right now. I kept following, you keep following this, we're gonna get to the correct number. Okay? I mean, it still sucks because it's, it, it is a lot of Pumana rows still. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Actually, it's not that bad because <laughs> I've done 12 Pumana, Pumana row, which is pretty standard, I guess, somewhere around there. But um, yeah. Glad we figured that out together. So there you go. That's how you um, figure out how to get um, what I number. What should you be targeting? First, we got to figure out primarily the weight. That's, that's your key right there. The weight. Um, you know, 12 pound net. My lead is... Eight pieces per pound per pound. Well, to get to 12 pounds, okay, I'm bad at math, so let me pull up my calculator right now. Oh, you smart guys, numbers, smart guys, you can figure that out right now. Times eight is uh, 96 pieces lead. On a right now, we're doing trivia right now. We, we're testing our testing ourselves. Um, ninety six lead. Multiply that by two. That's two one eighteen ninety one ninety two, right? Let me double check this. Ninety six times two. It's one ninety two. One ninety two times two. Is 384. We know that our bottom row needs 384 eyes. But, fuck. See, every time I do this, I think of something else. Um, it seems, this is going to seem weird because um, technically we're always shooting for like all this evenness. But, say, um, <laughs> I've heard of people doing this For real, for real I promise guy I've heard of people doing this Because You know You play numbers And then you, you get confused And then you Fuck and fuck up You Before you saw on your lead Or whatever You can count all the way around Just for double check Right And You stay at 380 But You needed 384 So what is this person Gonna do So go to this Right we're sewing all our eyes and go, fuck, I need four more eyes. Pumana. 
Pumala. Pumala. I mean, you don't have to do these Pumalas next to each other. You can spread them out throughout the net. Right? So you get that's why you gotta play all your numbers correct. Um if I know right, cause this we want say we're getting around to the number, we three seventy-nine. 379, 380, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, blah, 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 blah. So, okay, that's the wrong number to play, but remember, 1, 2, 3, 4, this would have been on original, this was an add-in, this would have been original, this was an add-in. Because all we're doing is splitting one eye into two, right? So, you keep your original, you add in one more. So, if I know I have to add in four more eyes, right? I have to add in four more eyes, but I do a 380 count calculation I stayed at 380 on my rows um, we can divide this by four hang on like I said I'm bad at math especially these big bigger numbers 380 divided by four is 95 so as I sewing every this is 93, 94, 95, and a bingo, I pumana. And then go again, 95, pumana, right? This would, this would mean, I mean, 95, pumana, 95, pumana. This would bring me to even where my Pumanas is at. Instead of, I go, I go in order around 380. Oh, fuck. I need four more, four more eyes. Pumana, 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 Pumana. Then you don't end up with your Pumanas in one spot. I guess it wouldn't. Most people would never even know unless you show them or you tell them and show them. But if you get some OCD action, then figure out the calculations to where you could make the Pumana evenly throughout your net. Yeah? Bingo. See, guys, we just figured out something. Um... I guess if you, like everybody else, on Charnet Hawaii page, uh, you're sewing your net and you get stuck, just, hey, holla for help. You get people like me, man. You know, I'm, I'm not the smartest, I'm not the greatest, I'm not super experienced, but just like that, I can help you figure out how to fix your mistake. Um, you know, when we... You're going to hear, even for me, um, if you've seen my latest, the net, the, the green and clear net that I did. I did a 3-2 pattern on my lead. And that's because I did an odd number. I did a 390 count. And um, I could have did the whole thing, you know, like, oh shit, just add in some Pumanos on the bottom. And got to the 400. Because that would have only been 10 Pumana eyes um, at 390 divided by 10. Well, 390 divided by 10. Every 39th eye, I would have sold in a Pumana. But I said, screw it. I wanted to do a lighter net because I already have an 8-footer. I, I have an 8-footer at... It's like a little over 10 pounds. So I said, why am I making another 8-footer with a target 10 pounds? I said, fuck it. I'll do the tree 2. I'll do the tree 2 pattern. Which means less lead. And I did an 8-foot at 8 pound. Okay, so sometimes you're just sewing a net. If the net is for you and you go, you know what, fuck it. Go make one different different weight net because you know even though I completed it 
Okay. I, like people understand that is that's not the end end of your net. Like you, even though my net complete with three ninety eyes on a three two pattern. Right on a tree two pattern. I could cut the whole lead line off and snip, right? Count my eyes, blah 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 blah. What did I just say? 39th eye. Every 39th eye, I take my scissors and I cut them. Then I sew in one pumana. So on, so in on Pumana. Blah, 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 Pumana. Then I end up with 400 count. It's not a lot. It's, it is a lot of work, but it's not a whole lot of work. And really, I don't even need to cut off the whole lead line. I can, well, actually, I would have to because you have wrong numbers, right? But cut the lead line off, and I guess, you know, when you think about it, in reality, the amount of work you did for so this whole net what is cutting off the lead line adding in a few eyes um you know and then you take it say like my lead right now on that net right all i'm gonna do is just go right here cut open them up tie in add whatever length I need with more lead right so the add in is not hard it's not hard hard it, it's it's a little humbug but if I feel like okay I don't like this net being 8 pounds I'll like bump them back up I'm going to cut, 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 add in my Pumanas to bring it up to the 400 count. Go back to a 2-2 two -two pattern, which would add in more lead. Huh? So don't be afraid if you even finish in that one way and um, you end up not liking it. it. It is possible to go in and change it. Okay. Huh? Um... Again, I hope this helps somebody. And I'm sorry, long video, and I'm doing a lot of talking, and I know it's going to be getting very confusing at times, especially if you're like me and you're bad at numbers. But this is why I try to draw it out. I think that drawing it out is likely helping a lot of people. And I started doing... I, I, this is what I, one thing I want to talk about, too. Um, if I'm offending anybody by doing these videos, I mean, I really don't give a fuck. I mean, I do, but I don't because I've said it many times now that I am not doing for for approvals or seeking attention or doing it for clout. I'm just doing it straight up to help somebody, even if it's just one person, two people. And I started doing the videos technically to help Haena because Haena was like, oh, I learned how to sew net. And I thought, oh, no, I can sew net, but, you know, I'm not the greatest at it, so I, I don't really like not trying to teach anybody, but, you know, she kind of helped me realize. She's like, yeah, but if you know stuff and you can at least she teach somebody a basic, at least they'll get the foot in the door and learn a little bit and they'll learn more along the way. And, um, you know, that that's what it is. So that's why, I, you know, I kind of was like, yeah, you know what? You're right. So I made video just to send to her for, um, you know, for her to... To practice sewing that um and from there i was like you know what fuck it i can i can help people so just keep making these videos and there's been people that's been commenting and make you know dropping good comments saying thank yous and all this because they've been wanting to learn and they have nobody to learn from so you know, I'm glad I can I can help somebody. At least somebody. 
So, um, yeah, I, just, I don't like nobody to get wrong ideas. I know a lot of people have different ways, and what I'm doing, you might not agree with. But, again, it, I'm not I'm not trying to make somebody on master, you know, uh, net maker through my videos. I'm just trying to help somebody get the basics and understand and, you know, encourage them to keep sewing because, like me, you're going to have to keep doing them for learn. There, there's no way, you know, you're going you're gonna to do this once, twice, and... Oh, oh, bing on master already. You have to do this several times for maybe, fuck, might take you years to finally master it or fully understand it without having to recover some mistakes that you make. Um, you know, I I still definitely doing rookie moves. I um I made some changes on my the net iron sole because I go oh, fuck I didn't even think that through, but I'm learning a lot through the process. And, you know, I don't like bugging people all the time for help. Because it's like, you know, some people are not that good at explaining things. And I guess that was another thing that I was kind of compelled for keep making these videos. Because, you know, it was like, oh, shit. Yeah, you know, like Farron. And, and I was like, oh, bro, your video really didn't help because I can see you know, you're making the video clear and, um, you know, you're recording it well. You're seeing up close and doing the rope and then drawing it on the iPad really would help them visually understand. Because a lot of people, even like me, some things I got to see it happening for understand or I got to see it in person. You know what I mean? So, um... You know, I'm not. I'm not trying to step on anybody's toes. I mean, I said, like I said, I, I don't give a fuck, but I, you know, I do in a little bit of a sense because, in the sense of, I don't want people to get the wrong idea. That's the only way I give a fuck. But if you just, you don't like it because you being a fucking hater and you don't like that somebody trying to teach somebody, then you can just fuck right off. I, that I really don't give a fuck. Um. But yeah, I just want to say thanks. You know, sorry about all that. I, I'm not trying to be negative. But um, just, you know, just being straight up honest, guys. You know what I mean? I, that's the most I can do is just be honest. Sharing what I do know. Sharing what I can share. And even doing, like, this video right here. Like, figuring things out together. You know, I know you're not technically here with me doing them. But me just writing it out, all, all, out like that helps me understand things a lot more. And now that when I got to do them, actually, you know, hand, hands in, do them. I know already. Now I know ahead of time. Um, and now you know ahead of time too. <laughs> so, you know, it's all good, man. Or just everybody's teach and share and whatever you can. I know get people out there that's gatekeeping. You know, it's like, oh, I don't like teaching nobody. Or the old uncles and grandpas that only want to teach their family and their great grandchildren, their children, whatever. That's fine. That's cool. That's to, by all means, bro. Do what you do. If you get special techniques and ways that you don't like show nobody, but that's fine. That's fine. You know what I mean? I mean, share my Pico video and the way I'm doing the Pico. One of the guys was like, bro, I never did try it that way, but now I learned something new. You know what I mean? So even though if you've been sewing that long time, you can still learn something. You know what I mean? Um. So, yeah, I just like to say thanks to all the people that was being been, been positive. Um, I know a lot of people viewing and not dropping a comment or saying anything. You know what I mean? Um. What else? <laughs> I know not everybody watching you is supporting you. Uh, I learned that the very hard way in tattooing. You know what I mean? I get thousands of followers through tattooing, but, you know, not everybody watching me is uh, supporting. But I like to say thanks to all the people that are supporting. And um, I'm not trying to say, like, Yo, you should drop a comment, but, you know, I'm putting in a lot of effort and a lot of work on this. So it would be nice if somebody's like, hey, bro, right on, shoots, solid. You know what I mean? Like, good on you for sharing that. I mean, that'd be very, very appreciated. Because, like I said, doing a lot of time and dedication into sharing these videos. Um, making these videos, too. So, you know. Anyway, um, again, once again, ho hope hope this can help somebody, at least. And I'll take it with a grain of salt. Because, as I said, I'm not perfect. I'm not no master at this. But just trying to help somebody get on their way. Okay, right on, guys. Thank you.